Event campaigns are a distributed event tool that allows you to organize local events all across the world, like this one, where there's many events, but they're all tied together on one map. In this video, we'll go over every step of how to create an event campaign. In part one, this video, we will go over setting up your event campaign search page and some settings. But before we get started, please note that event campaigns are a partner feature. If you're interested in becoming a partner, please visit actionnetwork.org partnerships. To begin, we'll go to our group manage page and under the create a sponsored action menu, select event campaign. And that brings you to this page, which is the page folks will see when they're searching for an event near them. There will be a large map like this one where people can search for an event. So you'll give your event campaign a title. My event campaign will be a series of dog walking parties. And you can create a banner image, add a goal slider, or any HTML like usual. And then there's these three hosting options, and this is really important. I'll go over each of these now. This first button allows others to host their own events. So everyone will see that host button on the event campaign page. So if you select this option, you'll be able to upload a list of suggested locations for hosts to hold events at, like every city hall or something like that, or let people do whatever they want but please note that you are not able to approve these hosts or events before their event is put on the map. You can get notified when someone hosts an event on your campaign, but we'll talk about that in just a second. This second option allows only group organizers and administrators to host events. This means that someone has to be an administrator or an organizer in your group and then they'll see that host button on the event campaign search page. And this third option has no hosting allowed and only allows you to upload events. And we'll go over that in another video. So select which option fits your campaign's needs the best. And then you can give your attendee search pitch. This should be a description of your event campaign and why people should attend. And below that is this checkbox. This is very important. The notification only works for the creator of the event campaign. Not everyone in your group and not just any administrator who checks this box. Only the initial creator of the event campaign will get this notification. So make sure that the person who creates and publishes this page is the person in charge. And then you can save and publish your form or save the draft. Note that saving and publishing your form doesn't actually make your event campaign live. You still have a couple steps, but you can still access this page at any time by clicking the edit event campaign settings button. So that's it for part one of creating an event campaign. Depending on what hosting option you choose, you'll still have to create a host form or upload events as well as create an attendee form, no matter which option you chose. We will cover each of those steps in the following videos. For help on this or any of our other features, please visit help.actionnetwork.org.